Hello everyone, my name is Captain. Welcome back to the channel. We're playing some more Generation Zero. This is part seven, I do believe. We are at the Veslin military bunker and uh, we got everything cleared out. Now here's one thing that I noticed about this game is that until you get to an actual save point, like a place where it considers a safe house, like back over here in the bunker, the safe house here, it doesn't save where you are. It saves everything you did, so everything that you've destroyed and looted and everything still stays the same. But, like, I was over here at the end of our last video, and when I spawned in this time to start the new recording, I started all the way back at the freaking bomb shelter we were at. Had to run all the way over here. Now, everything was still dead. All the creatures that I originally killed are still laying around like that. What is this? Oh. I mean, I didn't actually see that last time. Contacts with plume. Key cards longer working with solid machines under big gates before they miss some passage. Uh, okay, well, that's um, that would have been useful. So our job is to get inside this bad boy here. So what we did last time that we figured out was just stand perfectly still and realize that it's going to say, okay, you're good to go. It's going to open the door. I'm going to guess that it's not going to be friendly in here at all. Um, let's see. We'll switch over to pistol to start with, just see if we can get a little bit of a tighter shot without alerting half the freaking world that we're in here but i'm going to assume it's pretty well overrun now all the original people that supposedly evacuated the area came here to start with but if i was to make an educated guess i would say they're no longer here so we are going to try and get in here and loot as much as possible and kill as many things as possible but considering that we're already getting that indicator little uh oh nice let's see if we can oh no get up here we're getting uh Oh, is there anything? Oh, no, we can't seem to climb up on top of that. Uh oh. Okay, I hear, I hear what sounds like a dog running around. Where'd they go? See, there seems to be a problem with me want, it wanting me to be on top of this pallet here. Maybe it's like, no, you don't need to belong up there. That's a little bit cheap. But it's clear that there's something down here. So I'm trying to get just an elevated view so we can see what it is. That would be what it is. So it's a dog. You're about to go down, doggy. Come on. Come out just a little bit. It's either you or me. Probably gonna have to be me, huh? Oh, he's he's hiding behind the thing. He's like, please don't shoot me, freaky Jason. Look, he's hiding. That's kind of cool. Boom, baby. You got wrecked. Okay, so it is just a dog. For some reason, I couldn't see the stupid tank that was on there. Let's loot his rotting carcass before the other people show up here. Uh, some armor-piercing bullets. That's not too terribly bad. See, we're a long ways from level 4. You definitely don't level up very quickly. Let's strafe back and forth and see if there's anything over on this side we miss as far as like looting goes. I don't think so. I'm guessing there's probably not going to be a lot to loot in here since it was, was sort of a, an evacuation location. Okay, ease forward just a little bit. We don't need to get... Sounds like there's some weird... Oh, it's a tick. Ah, he jumped at me. Bad tick. <laughs> those aren't necessary. I'm not necessarily worried, you know, freaked out about those. They're kind of spooky because they come running at you or whatever, but they're not really that big a deal. Hello? You got any more of your buddies around here? There you are. Oh, I knocked his armor off and he took off running. He's like, ah, he knocked my clothes, ah! Bad shot, bad shot. All right, we got one bullet left, don't miss. There we go. You see, you can't loot these. I mean, they're teeny tiny. I can't imagine they would have much on them anyway, but it doesn't seem to be anything yet. with them. They don't seem to have any kind of weapon. They seem to just kind of bounce around. But I did manage to remember to search the crates and stuff that were outside this building before I got in. There was just some ammo in there, nothing major. So I didn't bother showing it on the video because it was like, eh, no biffy. You know what, having this back door open here would be nice in case I need to sneak around. Open. open. There we go. Get get inside. Okay, fine. I'm apparently a refrigerator and can't get past the size of a door there. Lots more ammo. I'm always okay with finding more and more ammo. I did swap out a little bit of the ammo there. I think I put um, FMJs on my pistol so they do a little better when it comes to armor piercing. Anything around back? No, no, okay. 
Let's check out this door, see if there's anything inside. So there is things to loot in here. I was mistaken in thinking that there's not. Ooh, backpack. Now, one of the things I did see, too, while I was outside running back over here is I think it looks like the moon is finally setting. So maybe pretty soon we'll actually get some daylight. And that would be just fantastic because we've been running around in the dark for a couple episodes now. It is, uh, it is definitely hard to see. I mean, I'm fortunate that I got the flashlight so I can light things up or else we would be completely screwed. There's no power. Okay, so I got to find a way to restore power to this bad boy, which is what the objective is. So we got to get inside. Make our way through and uh, find a way to power it up. Okay, so we've already got an indicator that there's something else over here. It's probably us. I'm assuming it can either hear me or it's noticing my flashlight. It sounds like another uh, a rad thing going off here. All right. Okay, it's nothing that way. Oh, we got a dog. Oh, we got a couple dogs. Let's let's go scope in here so we can see what we got. We got one dog. Two dogs and a tick right over there. I'm not worried about the tick right away. If I can take out the dogs for a shot. Oh, there's three dogs now. Okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, if we could uh, get two dogs kind of close together, maybe we could get a collateral shot here. We need them to kind of. Uh oh. Oh, now you're going to patrol down here? Okay, so if we need to retreat that way to get a clean shot, we can. Okay, he's down. Maybe they didn't see what happened. <laughs> he just spontaneously combusted. We don't know what happened. There was a loud bang and then a follow-up explosion. Okay, so he's galloping this direction. He's going to go like, Hey, you okay? What happened? Oh no, what happened to me too? <laughs> the other dog's like, I am not going back out there. Screw all of you guys. Clearly, there's landmines down there. Oh yeah. Real sneaky-like. Yeah, because I'm shooting the world's loudest dang gun in this general area. But I'm being sneaky. Sure, we'll call it sneaky. Let's see, where's that stupid tick? There you are. I see your leg. Gotcha! Four for four. Okay, what else do we have down here? I don't see anything. It's probably right around the corner. Let's go ahead and get a reload in here. So far, so good. Not too terrible tall here. Let's, uh... No, let's go binoculars here and see if we can't... Oh, okay, we got one more... Oh... Switch for you. Oh, all the way around to the corner. Okay, so maybe he's the last one in this general area. Is he doing a weird lap? Okay, we don't get too far forward here. If he jumps out and jumps on us, then we'll get hit before we have a chance to switch weapons. Hey, you! Got him! Thank you for your services. I'm going to take your bullets. You got an... Oh, there's stairs going up. We'll finish downstairs first. We've reached that point in the video game in which we've got multiple ways to go. And so, of course, we got to go the wrong way first. Although, getting power back to this bad boy would definitely be nice. Assuming that's where we're heading down that way. Okay, so we got a long hallway here. Easy does it. Tiptoe around the corners. Oh, wow. Can't believe you survived that. Good good job. Yeah, I'll give you props for that, bud. You got one of your buddies in here? Other side of the door, maybe? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's hiding. Oh, look at that. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Uh-oh. You're naked. Naked spiders. It's okay. Come here. Not that close. Back up. Get off of my head. You know, I'm just trying to pet you. There's no reason to jump on my head. Let's see if there's anything to search in here. Yeah, we definitely need to get the power onto the bunker as soon as possible. Mainly just so we can see what the hell we're doing without having to have a flashlight. Because he's dark in here. Let's see. Anybody in here? Anything in even in here to search? Doesn't look like... Oh, there's a door back here. It opens up into another storage room. Doesn't look like there's much in here. A little backpack. Simple first aid and adrenaline shot. Nice. We do have a few adrenaline shots on it just in case things go absolutely just tits up and we end up dying because we're stupid. Then uh, I think we should be okay. Another lockpick. 
Was that a... Hang on. Extended magazine for the molar. That right there. Wait, this one is dilapidated. The one I put in there worn. I, I don't know here. Let's... You know what? Let, hold on, let's swap that out here. Okay, so that one is dilapidated. That one's dilapidated, but I think it's total life. is. I don't know. They're both dilapidated. We'll hang on to it just in case. Okay. Let's go over and check out what's in this door. We definitely want to try and clear this bunker as fast as possible. Again, I'm not guessing we're going to find it. Man, there's just door after door after door. This is never ending. It seems like, maybe, if I can tell, it looks like a lot of the loot is in the same locations in the same buildings. Like, that was over there. We got a box over here. So if I, I'm guessing if you remember where everything's at the first time, when you run into a place, then you'll find it the second time. Like last time there was something on this chair here, but there's nothing there this time. So who knows? Maybe it's just a terrible theory. All right, let's get back out here. Okay, we call this little area cleared. I'll run over here and see what we got down this way. We're going we're gonna to get to the... Uh, oh, we got a big open area here. Check your corner. Oh, man, this is just a huge winding little path here. All right. If we can get the light on, that'd be great. I don't care if necessarily if they can see me. All right. Let's see. Anything in here? Hello? Anybody in here? Okay, so we got to go down the little winding staircase first. Okay, it looks like we're in the right general area. Let's go ahead and check this area while we're down here. More bullets. They... Was it... Oh, backpack. Um, uh, I'll take your... Yeah, did I take the right thing? I did, okay. I'm not gonna take your silly little work gloves. My goth outfit is just fine, thank you. Okay, we got... That sounds like a dog, maybe. Further downstairs. They might be inside outside another room here. Uh, okay, I see a tick right there. Gotcha. Were you in here by yourself? Nope. There's your buddy. Hey. No no jumpy. Oh, he's, he's naked again. Squirrely little bastards. There we go. See, they don't seem to do much as far as damage. I haven't taken any damage at all from them. I mean, they're jumping right on top of my head, so I don't exactly know what they do if you run into them. Okay, we're going to come back to that door. We're trying to get to... Apparently, we're going to end up back where we originally started from here, just underground. We have gone a long ways underground. Maybe this... Maybe this is the door. Uh oh There we go. It was probably rather stupid of me just stand there and hold my ground while he's shooting at me. But I was trying to do it with a pistol, you know, just trying to be Billy Badass. And, well, we saw how well that worked. Okay, so these these better health kits give me a whole lot more life than the other ones did. Stop it. Stop it. Don't run away. Stop it. <laughs> Crazy little spiders. Okay, this looks like the room we need to be in. Where'd you go? There you are. Uh, three bullets. They're not really packing a ton of stuff here. Okay, so it looks like we're in the right area. Maybe there's a big button to push here. Oh, we have lights. Ah, we can see what we're doing. I'm guessing everything is going to be like frantically running at me now. And it's going to be just balls to the wall crazy. 128k RAM system. Eh, there's not really a whole lot of bytes free. But uh, this seems to be the station here. Could load some MS DOS or something. Okay, now what? Now does it just want me to get back out or what? Oh, it's nice. Look at this. We can see what the hell we're doing, where we're going. Wonderful. So we can finish scoping out the area. Okay, we had a door over here. We're gonna go check it out. I wonder if we could have got in there beforehand. I didn't. That sounds like bigger than a tick. Yeah, that's un, un doggy. Are you in here by yourself? Okay, it's kind of a small room. 
Okay, let's see if we can we'll see add a little range to our shot here. Uh oh, okay. I don't know what the uh, uh oh. Oh, he ducked just just as I was shooting. He leaned down to shoot me with his butt gun, and missed. Uh, I missed. Hey, he missed too. Nice. Okay, so there's stuff over there trying to get over here, but nothing major. There is a lot of stuff in this game for it to not be a lootable thing. I mean, like all the crap sitting on the shelves, which is fine. I'm honestly glad this isn't like uh, Skyrim or something. You can pick up everything in the game because that was just like, I don't need 754 because I'm going to take them because I can, but I don't need them. Uh, I don't know what the purpose of this was unless I'm just missing something obvious. Anytime I see a tank like this in a game, I always think, hey, I bet I can blow that up. Um, other than the fact that this kind of, oh, it blocks off the, uh, huh, I guess, I don't know. Okay, we got something else over here. I think this was what, trying to detect us last time. Okay, so I'm going to say we're good to go on the upstairs part. Maybe? I don't think I, oh yeah, I checked that, that was where the gloves were. I'm just glad we got power in here so we can see what we're doing now. Okay, so I'm guessing it's right out here. Yep. So it wants me to go that way, so I'm definitely going to go this way. More downstairs. Just go back to where I just came from? No, this doesn't look familiar. We definitely don't want to get lost. That is one of the challenges we end up with a huge winding walkways and all kinds of stuff here. Uh, oh, hey. We're outside. Uh, you know, just curious. Where'd we end up on the map? Okay, so we traveled. Th we came all the way through the mountain. That's kind of cool. I didn't find this door the first time, so at least I know there was a way to get in. kind of would have been a bummer if I'd found that the first time. I'd be like, hey, you can't get in here because the stupid power's off and the lock's busted or whatever, but... At least we know we can go out that way if we absolutely have to, but I'm not technically worried about getting out. You know what, we could switch to shotgun for a little close quarters combat. Okay, it wants us to go that way. Let's go check out this general area over here. Oh, more winding corridors. Oh my goodness, this place is huge humongous. I mean, it's a military bunker. I can't imagine they would want to just, oh, more just, oh, hey, good, luck, lucky us, we ran into a dead end. There's some, I remember back in like the Minecraft days, there were times I'm like, you know what? I hope this cave just dead ends somewhere, because it would be nice to have something to tell me. Hey, stop. <laughs> okay. Um, is this where? I, this isn't where I came in. <gasps> Look, we have sunlight. Is this a month? Is this a robot I killed? Huh. I'll take those. I'm not gonna take the other thing. Fill up my inventory. Oh, hey, no, hey, let, let's back in. We're friendly. Please let us back in. Thank you. Oh, that would have sucked if we had got out there and it would have been like, sorry, you don't have access and we'll have to run all the way around the mountain again to get back in the other side where we know we can. And then it'd be one of those lesson learns like, hey, you know, if you'd just gone where you're supposed to instead of dicking around, then it wouldn't have been a big deal. But no, you had to be all adventurous and stuff. Okay, so it wants us to go that way. Well, we have to check out this way. Oh, it's locked. Hey. Unlock. I'm going to guess there's probably something I have to... Okay. We'll go the way the big giant diamond is pointing this time. And see what it wants us to do. I know there's a set of stairs back where we came from that... Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Loudest shotgun in the world. There is no... <laughs> Sneaking around with this bad boy. If they don't know you're here after you've been around, just, oh. Yep, yep, yep. Um, wait, where'd the diamond go? We got lots of doors to pick from. Anybody in here? Okay, good. It's just a small room. Not so big a deal. Small rooms are fine because we can get through them quickly and it's an officially a dead end. I'll take these. I'm not going to take the little do rag thing because I don't need it. Nothing else in here. Even though we have power on, some of the rooms are still really dark. Is there anything up high I'm missing? I don't want to feel like I'm neglecting going a certain direction. Okay, that door is actually open. 
Looks like a war room. Oh, it is warm. Ha! Amy! War room found. Sweet, check that out. We found the war room. All these old looking phones. <gasps> Ooh, that's a machine gun. That would be nice. I need to check that out here. I'm sure this one's like, oh, the survivors did something else here. Calling for help. Oh, wait. Oh, what? What happened? Hang on. Another castle. <laughs> you get it? You know, we're sorry, but our princess is on another castle. So all of this, I am started up right around here, and I've made my way down to the here, generally. These are missions. Except Mission completed. Home team. Let's see what this has to say. According to the note found in the house of the Civil Defense Coordinator, people of Saltum were gathered for evacuation of the sport field west of the village, but were evacuated. Oh, well, we did that. Four board discovered in Veslin revealed the existence of six other command bunkers scattered across the area in accordance with established counterintelligence military protocol. Knowledge of the location was strictly compartmentalized. The only indication you have is their code names. Oh, goody. Look at those. Find all the war boards here. That's going to take a while. Find the entrance to the Saltum Naval Base Bunker. Locate the ruins of Ibahalm, oh wait, Ibahalm Castle. That's... Yeah, okay. Well, at least we have some things to actually do next. So that's good. We have found the war room here. We are we're, we're pretty much done with this one, honestly. That's not too terribly bad at all. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that we actually found the war room. That's kind of cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so uh, let me see. We check that place out. We'll check out the last couple places that we didn't open up doors to last time, just for looting purposes, and then we will call it a day. There's not a thing in here. Some chess. Well, that wasn't too bad. I was honestly expect. Oh, found the shower room. I was honestly expecting to find a little bit more opposition. Uh, we've, you know, quite a few ticks, which aren't too terribly bad by themselves. And a couple dogs, but, you know, from long range, those aren't too bad. Let's go back the way we originally came and check upstairs. Hey, y'all are in a big pile. <laughs> okay, upstairs. This is the way we did not go the first time. Got a door here. This is quite the extensive bunker. I see why they would want people to come over here. I mean, other than the fact that there's robots inside, it looks like they were locked inside. So there's, there's no real reason they couldn't just... You know, leave them in there. All these half open doors. Looks like private quarters here. Not much in there. It's just an ammo crate. I'm not sure why people keep ammo crates in the bathroom, but, you know, to each their own. Let's see where this one goes. Maybe this is an external exit. Looks like it kind of is. Let's check our corners. Check around. Make sure there's nothing hidden. Alright, let's get up the stairs. Oh, let me guess. Locked. Can I not push a magic button and... Oh, okay. It's... Red light means they're filming inside. Uh, more stairs. Anything in here? It's another control... Look, see, that's what I'm saying. It's like there's a lot of stuff to examine as far as to, like, walk around and look at. And it's gorgeous for sure. But there's nothing in here to loot. It's, um... I would say that's probably one of the downsides in the game, but it kind of just depends on how you look at it. I'm not going to say it's a downside. If you're one of these people that's like, I don't want to have, you know, eight hours worth of looting crap to do in every single room I run into. I want to be able to call it a day right when I get inside and finish looting everything. Now, where am I now? Zoom in. Okay, so we're we're like, we're, we're just right around the mountain. It's basically, there's a bunch of... I think we, we came in right over that way. What is... Hold on, let's get a view of this real quick. Oh, yeah, see, there's the bunker. We came in right over there. That you can't open right around there. Oh, so, oh, dude, we we almost died right up there last time. We were, like, taking shots down at things right here. That's not... And come to find out that there's a dang door right over here. Was it underneath this? I, mean, I, I, I lost it. It's a good thing we're done examining everything, but... All right, then. Well, the sun's out, so at least now on we can see what in the world we are doing. That is going to be so helpful and so wonderful. So anyway, we're going to wrap this video up now that we've completed this general area. Um, hopefully you had a good time with this video. I'm having a good time with the game entirely and loving showing you guys this game. And for everybody who's watching it, I'm, I'm truly happy about all the positive feedback you guys are providing. 
Um, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for all your love and support. You have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.